Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, we're here with game four of the series between the 2018 Houston Astros and the 1983 California Angels. Now, if you've been following along, you know that the Angels are up two games to one in this best of five series after three games. So if they win today, they advance to the next round. But if Houston wins, Houston buys themselves another day and uh, a fifth game of the series. And in that vein, they have Garrett Cole going up for them. And he will be facing Ken Forsh, who's out there taking his warm-up tosses right now. Ken Forsh going up for the Angels. He was 11-12 in 1983 with a 406 earned run average. So, uh, not one of their better pitchers and, uh, you know, and facing Garrett Cole, who's going to be very tough to beat. So, Houston bats first. They'll send Jose Altuve up as Ken Force signals that he's ready to go. And Altuve gets a 2-9, which is a fly ball center field. One away. No scoreboard today. The scoreboard is upstairs, and it's running low on juice. So I just decided I'm going to go ahead and play the game without that. Yuli Gurliel gets a 6-12, which is a fly ball left field. There's two down. And Alex Bregman is up, and he gets a 4-4, which is a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman is... Um, that is Bregman, and he's a 2. And that's a 16 and a 2 at third base. That might be something. No, it isn't. So, the Astros are out of the inning. There are also lineup changes today. Tyler White will be playing uh, first base for the um, Houston Astros. And Brian McCann is behind the plate for the Astros. Uh, that was based on, it was uh, not exactly, I don't think it's exactly what I had a, a comment from an Astros fan that said, I think that McCann and Tyler White should be in the lineup. Um, and there might have been another possible change there, but I, if there was, I didn't make it, obviously. Everybody else that's in the lineup is the same, are the same people that were in the lineup before. So, Juan Benitez will lead off against um, against uh, Garrett Cole. And he gets a 1-7, which is a ground ball to third base. He's out. Bobby Gritch is up. He gets a 6-3, which is a fly ball to left. The left fielder for Houston is Marwin Gonzalez today. He's a 3, and that's going to be bad for Houston. That is a single. So, Gonzalez can't get to the ball. There's an angel on first, and that's Gritch. And he's 5 for 10 in the series so far. Um, and that's a hit allowed for Cole. Rod Carew is up. He gets a 4-4, four, four, and that is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is Korea, and he's a 2. That's a 20 and a 2 at short. And that is an out double play, and the Angels go down quickly there. They get no runs in the first, and we're going to the top of the second. Going to have to follow along a little better here because I uh, don't have the scoreboard up. George Springer, and he gets a 4-10. That is a fly ball to center. The center fielder is Freddie Lynn, the Freddie Lynn, and that's a 19 and a 2. In the outfield, that's an out. One away. So Springer goes down. And Tyler White is up. First appearance of the series. And he gets a ground ball to third. Two away. And that brings up Josh Reddick. And Josh Reddick gets a fly ball center field. He is retired. No runs for Houston. We go to the bottom of the second. And Reggie, Reginald Jackson, steps in against Cole. He gets 3-6, which is a walk. They walk Reggie Jackson. 
This, of course, the aging Reggie Jackson near the end of his career. And that brings up Fred Lynn. Freddie Lynn gets a 6-5, which is a strikeout. One away. You're going to see a lot of those today. One thing that will happen with the no scoreboard is the game is going to go quicker. The viewing time won't be as long. 6-7 is a strikeout for Doug DeSensei. So DeSensei gets a K. That's the second strikeout for Cole in the game. And Brian Downing up. And he gets a 4-6, which is a strikeout. So he strikes out the side, does Cole. And there's no runs for the Angels in the second. We go to the top of the third with Brian McCann batting for Houston. And he gets a 2-8, which is a strikeout. One away. And that's the first strikeout for Forsh. Carlos Correa gets a 1-8, which is a ground ball short. That's two away. And Marvelous Marvin Gonzalez gets a 4-7 ground ball second. That's Gritch. He's a 2 at second base. That is a 17. What is that going to be? That's going to be an out. Marvelous Marwin goes down. And uh, Forsh has gone through the Houston lineup um, with a lot, without allowing a hit. So that's kind of strange. We'll see if he can keep that no-hitter intact. I don't really care about uh, jinxing him. Bob Boone is up. He gets a 2-6, which is a fly ball to left, one away. Up steps Tim Foley. Tim Foley gets a 5-6, which is a strikeout. So Tim Foley goes down on K's. That's the fourth one for Cole. And Beniquez gets a 6-8, which is a walk. Juan Beniquez taking the walk. Only the second one issued by Cole against one hit. And Bobby Gritch is up. He gets a 4-7, and that's a strikeout. So you can probably bet that Cole, no matter how anemic the offense might be this particular game for Houston, you can bet that Cole's going to keep him in the game. Altuve gets a 6-7, and that's a fly ball center field one away. Yuli Guriel gets a single, and that's going to be the first hit of the game for Houston. So Yuli Guriel is aboard with the Astros' first hit. First hit allowed for Forsh. Alex Bregman up. He gets a 5-4. That's a fly ball center. That's two away. And that brings up George Springer. And he gets a 4-5, which is a ground ball. Second base C. And he is out. So Forsh gives up his first hit of the game in the fourth. But that's it as we go to the bottom of the fourth in a 0-0 scoreless tie. In a very good series between these two, Rod Carew comes up. He gets a 6-7. That's a strikeout. One away. Like I said, you're going to see that a lot. Sixth strikeout for Cole here in the fourth. Reggie Jackson up. Gets a 3-11. That's a walk. So Reggie Jackson has been on twice. Via the walk twice. They want no part of Reggie Jackson. One on, one out, Fred Lynn up. He gets a 2-7. That's a strikeout. Two away. Seventh for Cole. Chalk that up. And DeSensei comes up and he gets a 1-2, which is a fly ball left field. And California goes down in the fourth. We go to the top of the fifth in a scoreless tie. Scoreless pitchers dual tie between Ken Forsh of California and Garrett Cole of Houston. Tyler White is up. He gets a 1-8. That is a home run for Tyler White. Put it on the board. And that's the first run of the game for either team. Forsh allowing a home run and a run. Houston takes a 1-0 lead. Reddick is up. He gets a 6-11. That's a ground ball to second. One away. 
Brian McCann's up. He gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a ground ball to... Uh, no, that's a walk. So he gets a walk. McCann taking the walk. Porsche allowing his third man on. And Carlos Correa comes up. He gets a 5-9. That's going to be a triple 1-4. to four. And it's actually going to be a double. For Correa. So runners are at second and third with only one down, and Marvelous Marwin is up, and he gets a 2-11, which is a ground ball third base, A, and that's two away. Marvelous Marwin out. And it's all up to El Tuve to try to knock in the second run here. And he gets a 2-3, which is a line out to second, so he doesn't do it. But Houston does get on, they do break on top with a one run lead on a home run by Tyler White. The Tyler White, who was a replacement in this game, based on the uh, suggestion of an Astros fan who's been following the series. Brian Downing is up. He gets a 5-10. That's a double one to 17. And it is going to be a double. So Brian Downing gets a double. Second hit off Cole. Bob Boone is up. They're going to let him hit. I thought about sacrificing, but they're not going to do that. 5-7 is a strikeout. One away. Eighth strikeout for Cole. If you're keeping track at home, Tim Foley is up. 1-10 is a double one to six. They're going to tie, they're going to tie the game. Single double asterisk. Knocks in a run. So Tim Foley... With a hit and an RBI. Third hit allowed by Cole. First run allowed by Cole. And Benitez is up. He gets a 5-10. That's a double 1-17. to We've already seen this show. And uh, he gets the double. So now all of a sudden Cole is just falling apart. Runners are at second and third with one out. They're gonna the Houston Astros are gonna bring the infield in because they can't allow another run. Bobby Gritch gets a four eight, and that's a strikeout. Infield will go back. Ninth strikeout for Cole. And Carew is up. He gets a five eight. That is a strikeout. Ten strikeouts for Cole, but he allowed the tying run, and now it's one one. Still kind of really a pitcher's duel, though. Yuli Gurriel is up. He gets a 5-6. That's a pop-out to second. One away. Alex Bregman up. He gets a 4-6. That's a pop-out to first. That's two away. And George Springer is up, and he gets a 1-7, which is a strikeout. So Forrest doing a really good job shutting people down. That's only a second strikeout of the game, but he's only allowed a run. And that was on a home run by Tyler White. We can He can be forgiven for that. Reggie Jackson steps in. He's walked twice this game. And he gets a 1-7, which is a strikeout. Had to figure sooner or later he was going to be a strikeout victim of Coles. Fred Lynn is up. 6-4. That is a third base X. Third baseman for the Astros is a 2. That's a 5. That's going to be an out. 2 away. And that brings up Doug DeSensei. And he gets a 6-7, which is a strikeout. 12 strikeouts for Cole. Very impressive through, 12, for, through 6 innings, but it is 1-1 one, one still. Tyler White steps in. He's got the only run RBI for the team. 5-4 is a fly ball to right field. So Tyler White flies out. Josh Reddick comes up. He gets a 6-5, which is a strikeout. Two away. 
They just cannot break through on force for very much of anything. And McCann steps in. He gets a 6-10. That's a single. So McCann with a hit. His first hit of the series. Fourth hit allowed by Forsch. Korea's up. He gets a 5-2. That's a ground ball to short. The shortstop for the Angels is Tim Foley, and he's a 3. That's a 19. And that's going to be a roll again. And that's a 12. 12 and 3 is an out. Double play, but not really because there was already two outs, so Korea's out. We go to the bottom of the 7th in a scoreless tie. Both of these pitchers obviously can go the distance. They've got the stamina to go the distance. Uh, Garrett Cole pitched 200 innings in 2018, and Forsch pitched 219 in 1983. Brian Downing up. He gets a 111. That's a pop out to short. One away. Bob Boone gets a 49. That's a fly ball. Or wait a minute. No, that's a triple one or a single. That's going to be a single for Bob Boone. Fifth hit allowed for Cole. One out, one on Tim Foley. He gets a 3-5, which is a ground ball, shortstop, double play. So the Angels are out of the seventh. We go to the top of the eighth. In, again, a tie game at one. With marvelous Marwin Gonzalez stepping in. He gets a 210, which is a fly ball to left. One away. Really good game here. Jose El Tuve gets a 1 6, double 1 to 13, or a single. That's going to be a double. So El Tuve is up at second with one down. Yuli Guriel comes up. He gets a 2-9. That's a ground ball shortstop right in a big column for him, but he's out. And with two down, up steps Bregman. And Bregman gets a 6-5, which is a strikeout. So Bregman goes down. Fourth strikeout for Forsh. No runs come in for Houston. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Got a feeling that uh, California wants to win it right here. Uh, Juan Beniquez comes up. He gets a 3-8. That's a single. So they do have a man aboard against Cole. And that doesn't happen very often. Beniquez, of course, is, uh, what, 17, not 8, 9 for 17 this series with two doubles and a homer. Sixth hit allowed for Cole. He's a stealing C, so he'll stay right there. Bobby Gritch is up. He gets a 111. That's a ground ball B. So now Gritch is the man at first on a fielder's choice. And that brings up Rod Carew. And Rod Carew gets a 410, which is a catcher's card. The catcher is McCann, and he is a 3. A catcher. So they're going to get the better defense, at least, in this particular time. 19-3 is a roll again. Eight and three is a pass ball followed by pop out. So the runner advances to second, but now there's two down. As Carew is out with Gritch advancing to second. And Reggie Jackson up, and he gets a 5 10. And that is going to be a double 1 to 17. We know that. And it is barely a double. So Jackson doubles in. The go-ahead run for California, that's going to be, potentially could be the backbreaker because Houston is really not scoring runs. And Lynn comes up and he gets a 5-2, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman's Altuve and he's a 2. That's a 6. And that's an out. So California is out of the inning. Lynn going down. But the Angels get one run in the eighth, and so now we're in the top of the ninth. Right here, the Astros have to have a run to keep this game going, and two to go ahead. Russ, George, George Springer is up. Not Russ Springer. George Springer. 4-5 is a ground ball C. One away. Springer retired. They're sticking with um, 
Ken Force, even though they have good relievers. Tyler White gets a 4-6, and that's a pop-out to first. They're down to their last out, the, the uh, Astros are. And Josh Reddick is their last hope. And he gets a 2-5, which is a single. He keeps the game alive. Reddick with a hit. Sixth hit allowed. McCann is up, but he's not a very good hitter. They're going to pinch hit for him. Because they really have got to have a hit here. So let's see who the pinch hitter would be. wonder if they have a guy that's on the bench that's like a really great hitter that didn't play a lot. They've got guys with home runs, but they don't hit for average. And really, they have a lot of guys that just don't hit for average. They're going to bring in Evan Gaddis. They got no, no, no choice. Evan Gaddis could, he's feast or famine. And he gets a 5-8, and that's a line out to shortstop. So Gaddis lines out as a pinch hitter, and that is it. The Houston Astros have been defeated here in four games by the Angels, who um, win this game 2-1 to one by the slimmest of margins. Garrett Cole pitched well. He went eight innings, allowed seven hits, struck out 12, walked three, and allowed only two earned runs. But the Angels, against all uh, odds, are going to advance to the second to last round. And uh, yeah, you gotta wonder if they're gonna end up in the uh, ALCS or the, uh, yeah, the American League Championship Series in the round robin tournament. But that's gonna be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.